the WBA International Super Lightweight Championship, O'Hara Davis, welcome. Back to the Lions Den, like you were in Scotland. You seem to enjoy this. Must win for you on Saturday night. Um, Tom Farrell's a bum. Uh, you know, I'm really looking forward to our fight on Saturday. Um, I've been watching him and there's nothing about him really. My last fight, I made a lot of mistakes in that training camp. It's all about fixing up on those mistakes. I've learned a lot from that fight and that will never happen to me ever again. Tom Farrell's not lasting any more than three rounds in this fight. I said to my coach, this fight goes past round six. What future have I got in this game? Three or six. Tom Farrell's a complete bum. I'm wearing this fight purse on my wrist. You know, I'm a, I wear your fight purse on my wrist. And you're nothing but a bum. And, you know, I hope you've worked hard. But I'm telling you, your training camp has been a complete waste. Because come three days time, two days time, right? Two days time, you're getting your ass whooped. Finally, O'Hara, uh, do you feel the pressure on Saturday night? I mean, I saw a, an article on Sky, Derry Matthews says a loss on Saturday would be the um, end of your career. There ain't no pressure because losing's not even coming into my mind. Losing's not even coming into my mind, um, you know. I just feel like it's a walk in the park, I'm going to do what I've done 15 times before. This ain't the first time I've been to Liverpool. I beat Christopher Truman in here when he called me out over social media. I whooped his ass. Um, in Liverpool, and then the Derry Matthews fight happened. I won that fight, and you know, this is um, gonna be my third time, but this fight has not gone past three rounds, so you know, put your best on that three, everyone, or earlier. Tom, a big step up for you uh, again. Sold also, you. sorry, sorry, last thing you said earlier, Eddie, I'm not really happy because you said something that kind of offended me at the start of this. You said that this is a 50 50 fight. You've got three 50-50 fights on the show. This fight is not a 50-50 fight. This is a 97-3 fight. The only way this bum is going to win this fight is if something goes wrong, but ain't nothing going to go wrong on fight night. So you sold about 800 tickets, I heard. Um, hope you're getting paid good for it. But you've sold a lot of tickets, but that's 800 people coming to see him get beat. Yeah, I'm done. Stop talking, you bald man. Tom, um, again, massive support from the city. Yeah. Uh, everybody pretty much desperate to see you beat O'Hara Davis on Saturday night. Yeah, not only uh, everyone from the city, I think everyone from the country, probably loads of people from the world want me to smash this nugget head in. Can anyone understand them? You can't hardly hear them. Listen, you can't go around calling yourself a warrior, calling other people bums when you turn your back. Albeit Josh Taylor's a good good fighter, but you cannot turn your back and walk away and call other people bums. So this guy is not even just, worthy let's enough just it right to there. have your name in the same sentence as mine. He's not worthy enough to be in the same boxing ring as you me. You can just about string a that sentence together yourself. That watch you've got on your cost about five pound. That watch you've got on your wrist cost you about five pound. Probably how much you're getting paid. Listen, for fight, you bum. Stop talking, you he's bum. He's putting himself on a big you pedestal idiot. and he's putting himself right up there. All you are is a ticket seller. You ain't nothing but a guy that can sell tickets. You're a bum. Stop talking. You finished? Just make sure you turn up on Saturday night. You finished? You fool. You idiot. Okay. Uh, you staying down here tonight or you going home? You shit out. I'm tonight. Uh, I'm going home because you're scared to hang around in Liverpool. Hey, uh, have a nice journey back up tomorrow as well, you little bum. You and all your fans are all bums and you're idiots. You and all your fans. Okay. We'll just, we'll just get back to the fight for one second. You don't belong in the same ring as me. Oh, all right, one second. But I will be on Saturday night. You've you got a shot coming. You idiot. Tom. He fought 13 bums. 13 and up against 13 bums. He had the life and death with that Chris Attaway. Like, what the fuck can this guy do to me? One second. Fucking Andrew. cunt. Alright, a language please. Language. Tom, talking about the fight. It's, yeah. it's a big fight for you. It's a tough fight. I know how you prepare. How your team would have prepared you. This is a big opportunity for your career as well. Yeah, don't get me wrong. This is a massive, massive yeah, test for me. Someone put a muzzle on him, please. Let me speak, boy. Right, this is a massive test for me. Big step up. Yeah, he's a puncher, but other than that, he doesn't bring nothing much to the table. I've, I've trained, I've had 10, 10 solid weeks of hard training, and I'm ready for this fight. Um, you, you know, as we've seen in his last fight, you know, what we, I don't need to go over what he's done. He knows deep down in his mind, he bottled it. 
So he's going to be going into this fight thinking exactly the same. When it gets hard, when it goes past three rounds and he's blue his gasket, he's going to be shitting himself again and he'll be looking for a way out. I'm telling you now. Thank you, Tom. We look forward to that one. Um, yeah. For this fight, to be honest, no, no one asked you to speak. Honestly. Honestly, for this fight, I ain't even trained. I ain't even had a camp. Baby, you got your cards on, Sally, after this. I ain't even had a camp. This guy is going to be so easy. I ain't even trained. I trained about two weeks. I sparred four rounds the first week. The next week, I sparred about six rounds. I said, that's what I need. This fight ain't gone past round six. I ain't even, I ain't even trained. And just watch what I do. Well, I, I ain't even trained. Watch what I do to you. It's going to be the easiest fight I ever had. It's going to be the easiest fight. Tom Farrell is the equivalent of a journeyman to me. You ain't know about a journeyman that can sell tickets. Okay. You ain't know about a, okay. a ticket selling journeyman. Listen, so you and all your fans. Mic? Have you got a hand mic? Because we've got a problem with this mic here. Is this sabotage by you? It's like Conor McGregor stuff. Okay, right. We're going to leave that fight there. Okay. I can't, you're, you're, no, I can't wait. One second. I can't wait for this fight. Right. So, I so, I so, plan to be humble. No. Uh, I plan to be humble, but fuck it. No, I can't wait for this fight. Just wait till my glove connects in your chin. Okay.